January 5th, 2019. This video is called Australia Records 6.5 Million Counts Per Minute of Radiation. Now, I don't know if this is a fluke or not, but um, considering Australia had the test sites for nuclear bombs, including plutonium dispersed in places in that country, this would not surprise me. So this is where the Geiger counter is. There's one Geiger counter on the Nuclear Emergency Tracking Center, and it's in this Kalundra. This is where the Geiger counter is placed. Now, here is the weather map on January 1st. Now, as you can see, the last couple days it's been blown off the water. So this is not coming, I don't think, from land so I don't know what's going on. And also, it looks like it it rained two days before this reading was picked up. So I just want to show you real quick here. the This is the three hours of precipitation. Now, here it's coming up. It's building there. But right there on January 2nd, January 2nd, almost at midnight. So almost basically by the 3rd, it's still over there a little bit. It's some humidity. It's raining. It's definitely raining over there. And then by the 4th, it looks like it's pretty much gone. Here's the reading. This is incredible if this is like really true. Now, I'm always checking once in a while Australia because a little while ago when they had the wildfires over there, that definitely was the radiation was being picked up there because that it was a no-brainer. You could see the uh, wildfires burning, particulate matter, and this is what's very, really alarming, actually. I don't know if there's ever been a reading higher than this. When I first saw this, I thought it was like 6,500. But then I really looked at that number there. I'm like, holy moly, look at this. It's 6,543,223 counts per minute. Now, that number would be like ridiculous if you went to counts per second. Now, unfortunately, this person's only been recording since uh, 2017. Now, is that nuts? Look at this. Holy shit. Now, here is the particulate matter on the third. And as you can see, it's blowing in from the oceans here. So I really don't know... If it came from land, but like I said, it did rain, so we can't rule that out. The first time I noticed this, it was uh, this reading of 5,293, May 15th, and this was corresponding with the wildfires. And someone was saying, oh yeah, that's just a error on the Geiger counter. But if you look at there's spikes all over the place, so I really don't think that those are just errors. And this is why, this is ridiculous. The government over there was doing secret testing on its population after the radiation contamination from the nuclear tests at Maralinga. It said in this report that the agency that had detected varying levels of strontium-90 in all the Australian capital cities... They were taking uh, bones from dead babies, infants, children, teenagers, young adults across the nation without their knowledge of their parents. Remember, we're federal inventory. They could do whatever they want with us. Now, here's Maralinga. This is the test site back in the 50s. I don't see no craters, but they this might be the crater right here. But supposedly they kind of cleaned it up. But what's ridiculous is, look at this. They have a, a city over here. They got a fancy little airport. 
And they say they cleaned it up. That's where Marlinga is compared to where that Geiger counter was. Maralinga test range in the stark, wide open spaces of South Australia. Operation Buffalo involved setting up a village for servicemen taking part. And the team of scientists was headed by Sir William Penny, seen arriving to supervise and observe the atomic explosions. Tanks were one of several target response items, 25 pounders and ACAC guns were another. How would they stand up to the explosions at various distances? All had to be tested first, of course. He's got a hangover already, but it's nothing to the headache that's coming to him and his pals. Special camera tires were built to make the film record we'll see in a moment. Quite an assignment, I should think. And for everyone present, the few seconds before each device is exploded must arouse a feeling of extreme nervous tension. Patterns of tracer rockets crisscross the impressive and symmetrical atomic cloud formation, playing their part in the scientific record of the burst. And scientists in special protective clothing advance to the target area. If the scene of havoc is less impressive than might have been expected, remember that these test items were placed many miles away from the explosion. The Valiant, as we know, is one of Britain's A-bombers. And here's one winging away over Maralinga to drop another device during last year's series. Altogether, four atomic blasts were carried out. The development of Britain's nuclear weapons progresses apace. Now, here is the, uh, a report on the cleanup of Maralinga, a former nuclear test site. Now, they said from 57 to 60 plutonium and other radioactive debris. The first cleanup was in 66. It says the general approach, the exposure pathway of greatest concern was found to be inhalation of dust by children playing around campsites. Playing around campsites. I wonder uh, if that stuff's still blown in the breeze, even now. But they're going to say, oh yeah, that's that's a heavier isotope, so that won't go too far. And I'm going to just end it over here, that the Aborigines, they used to live there. We took it over. I'm not going to say we as in me, but... We took their property, blew it to pieces, contaminated it. And look at the concluding comment from this report that states plutonium and uranium fallout from 15 nuclear tests conducted by the original lands. Okay. It states the aboriginals wish to return to the land provided it's safe to do so. They have been advised that some of the land is not suitable for permanent occupation and 450 square kilometers is encircled by boundary markers to remind them that this is so. The boundary markers might have a life of 50 years, but half of the plutonium will still be there in 24,000 years. So maybe it is possible that this person that's doing these recordings maybe picked up some plutonium because maybe uh, plutonium will uh, give it a count per minute of 6,543,223.